Okay. Um, so let's have um, lesson eight. I was just looking at um, is basically just a practice lesson. Um, we'll do we'll do that a little bit. I think if we get time today. Other than that, we're going to basically practice the, some verbs again, past and present, and then we're going to see if we can look at an ayah or not. Um, and basically that will be it. Alright, um, so, um, let's, do you have the sheets out for the verbs? Yeah. Practice. Or how about, how about, I, how, how about I quiz people? How about, how about a quiz? No? Is it is it too uh too quiz. late in the week for a quiz? Quiz on Friday. Quiz on Friday. Friday. Not a quiz quiz, but like just you know Questions see how people do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's do that. Well actually we'll we'll do um we'll go through it together and then I'll I'll quiz people. Um let's do one. Um Kasara, he broke. Sounds simple. Kasara he broke is in the second column. And it's like halfway down. Okay. So he yeah. broke. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go through it in the past tense. Okay. Ready? Kasara. 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 Kasaru. Kasarat. Kasarata. Kasarna. Kasarta. Kasartuma. Kasartum. Kasartubi. Kasartuma. Kasartuna. Kasartu, kasarna. Okay, brother <coughs> Nezmo, what is um, home they all broke? Kasar, kasaru. Kasaru, right? Kasaru is home they all broke. Uh, brother Anwar, what is hunna? All of them female broke. Kasarna. Kasarna, excellent. And brother Ala, what is um, antunna? You are, all of you females broke. Uh, kasartuna. Kasartuna, right? And Sister Shireen, what is we broke? Kasarna. Kasarna. And then she broke, Sister Tahira? Kasar, kasarat. Kasarat. Right? She broke is kasarat. Um, Alright, so it's in the second column. That means when it becomes present tense, now we're trying to say he is breaking or he breaks. What will it become? Yes. Yes. So remember that in the in the present tense he breaks. Um, you add the, the the sign of being this this ya is called the sign of being present tense, right? It's uh, it's either a ya or a ta or an alif or nun. Yak. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yaksiru, right? I, I, I messed up. I thought it was in the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yaksiru. Yaksiru. Right? Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, so kasara yaksiru, because it's in the AI column. Right? That means the fatha is in the, on the second root, sa, and then it's al kasra on the second, uh, present tense, yaksiru. Um, so that's what changes. The first root gets us to kun, and then the last root gets us dhamma. But actually, we're going to see later that this Dhamma can change, okay? Alright, and then, um, Brother Anwar, how do you do the five in your pocket? Yak siru, tak siru, tak siru, ak siru, nak siru. Nak siru, right? And what are, they, what are the pronouns there for? What's yak siru? Uh, yak siru... Uh, in English? He broke. He breaks. He breaks. And then what would be tak siru? Tak siru, they, they broke. No. no. There's yeah. two different. There's two ways that you can say that you can that you can say taksiru means in English. Yeah. One is yeah. he, uh, yeah. she broke or, or she broke, yeah. anta. Anta. anta you broke, right? Yeah. So they're both the same. What's yeah. aksiru? I break. I break. Mm. We're present tense. I break, and then next siru mm. we, break. we break. Okay. All right. Well, let's go back and do the all of them. Ready? Yaksiru. Yaksiru. Yaksiruna, 
أنتم تكسراني أنتم تكسرنا تكسرنا okay the the rug at the school and then أنا أكسر نحن نكسر okay sister Shireen what is هما two of them male are breaking no two of them Instead of yaksiruna, it's going to be yaksirani. Yaksirani. So you said it right, except this the scene has a kasara. Yaksirani. And Sister Tahira, what would be antum? You are all breaking. Taksiruna. Taksiruna. Excellent. Taksiruna. And Brother Ala, what would be antunna? You are all f female breaking. Aksuna. Antuna. Aksu aksiru is only for I. The alif is only for I. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I did it wrong. Sorry. Taksiru. Taksuna. Almost. It's tax. It begins with a ta. But remember, the hunna and the antuna are in the last column, and all of them, the third root gets a. تكسرنا. put a kasra under the scene. تكسرنا. 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 so the scene always, always for all of them will have a kasra. brother Nazmo, what would it be for? she breaks. wait, is she? she. تكسرو. تكسرو. okay. And uh, brother uh, Anwar, what would it be for um, whom? All of the, all of they are or all of them. Taksuruna, yak, yak suruna, siruna, siruna, yak siruna. Okay, yak siruna. Um, okay, that was um, for all of us together. How about I? I will do one or two people, um, do all of them, and then just say them. Who wants to do it? And you didn't want to do it, I'll do it. Okay, Sister Tahira, how about I'll give you one? Jama'a. Uh, Jama'a is in the third column and it means he gathered. So go ahead, Jama'a in the past tense. Jama'a, Jama'a, Jama'u, Jama'a, Jama'a. Alright, um, because I want to get make sure that everyone practices at least once, so whoever you're on with the table and you all three can work together. One of you um, just go, um, one says the past, the other says the present. So just pick, um, I'll, I'll give you I'll give you guys one and I'll give you two one. Um, so you, you already said jama'a, right? So just so now you would say jama'a in the present tense. So yajma'u for all 14, say them to Sister Tahira and then she can correct you. For you three, um, Brother Ala, can you do, um, uh, how about... Saala, he asked. You can do the you can do the past, brother Anwar. You can do the present, and brother Nazmo, you can do manara both past and present. Okay. All right. So just take like three or four minutes. Present or past? Present for Saala. Present Saala. So brother Ala will do the past. You do the present, and then brother Nazmo will do the. Sa'ala is in the first column. No, it's the third column. Third column. Third column? Yes. Sa'ala, this one? Yes. Okay, I'm going to say it. You guys correct me. Sa'ala. Sa'ala. Sa'ala, 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 
Or what does it become? Well, no. Yes, 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 wow. Instead of an alif. Yes, aluna. Okay. Um, that's where this comes from. Yes, aluna. Um, all right. And then for here, it's. Yeah, that's aluna. That's alu. Just that's alu. And then for huma, two of them. That's alani. And then for hunna, it changes. It goes back to yes. Yes, Allah. 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 But yes, remember the third root gets a sukun. So yes, Allah. Okay. Um, Can you write? Yes. Um, I can't write it right now. Um, but inshallah, you can copy it from the other. Um, yes, Allah. Yeah. Yes, Allah. All right. And then anta. Anta. Right. Goes back to tas alu and then tas alani. alani. And then the una tas aluna. And then for anti, it changes to tas alina. Okay, you female. And then goes to Tas Alani. Okay. And then what it would be for Antunna? Tas Alina. Tas Alna. So Hunna and Antunna are on the same pattern except the only difference is the Ya and the Ta. What was that on the same pattern? Which one? Yeah, so let me write it. So Hunna is Yas Alna. Yes, Alina. Yes, Alna. And then Antunna is Tas'alna. Tas'alna. So Hunna, yes, Alna. And Antunna, Tas'alna. And then Ana and Nahnu is As'alu, Nas'alu. Right? All right. Um, so let's look at, this is the beginning of um, chapter 8 in the Quran. Um, I don't write this down. I'm going to bring another example on Friday, inshallah. Um, if, you can't, if you can't write it down, that's okay. Um, but inshallah, it will be uh, a little bit better. I just have to pick this out really quickly. Um, Alright, so this is after one of the battles or something. And um, they were, the, the, the Sahaba, they were asking the Prophet Wasallam like, how do we divide the spoils, um, I forget which battle it was. Maybe it was Badr, I think. Maybe, I think you're right, it might have been Badr. Um, so, they're asking about the spoils. The word for spoils here in this surah is called um, Al Anfal. <coughs> uh, Anfal. And I think if this is a plural, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, Anfal are the spoils of war, okay? So the surah begins, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Yas'alunaka anil anfal. So let's break this down. Um, Yas'alunaka is a verb. So does that does this mean that this is a jumla ismiya or jumla fi'liya? Verbal jumla fi'liya. Jumla fi'liya, right? It's a verbal sentence because you're beginning with a verb. And it says, Yas'alunaka, <coughs> so it means it's a present tense verb. right? The ya tells you it's present tense. And then the wow tells you what? It's home. It's for home, right? It's a, gr- a group of, uh, a group of all of them, a plural. So it's three or more. And they are asking, yes, Aruna. What is this ka? Yeah, it's, it's, for you, for it's, for it's a pronoun. It's attached, not detached. And who, and, um, who is it referring to? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? So the ka is your, um, this is your object. Okay, so here is your um, here is your verb. Where is the uh, where is the subject? Mm-hmm. Oh, the wow is your subject. Wow. Right? The wow is your subject. So you have your um, fa'il, your your fa'il, and your maf'ul and bihi. All three are in one. They are asking. They are asking you. What is that? It's yeah. Yes, Aluna. Yes, what? Aluna. So he uh, he is asking. Yes, yeah. Alu. Huma. Yes, Alani. Hum. Yes, Aluna. Right. Hum. Yes, Aluna. So yes, this is actually um, yes, Aluna like this. Right. But because of the um, because of the ka, you put the ka attach it with the verb. So yes, no, 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 no stays yeah. here. No yeah. stays. So, uh, so, and the verb, I mean, I'm sorry, the subject, why is it not also include the na? Um, 
Because the noon comes and goes. The noon will get the noon will get dropped, so you can't say the subject got dropped. Real quick. Um, and then we'll just look at the first page. Actually, it's, it's a review lesson, so I'll just give the homework and then we'll be done. Um, go to lesson eight, the Arabic. should have this this chart right here. Mongolia. You see, you have it. Do you have the chart? Yeah. Probability. Probability. Because it's lesson eight. Probability. Yes, we have chart. <coughs> probability chart. Does it look like one of those? Um, what's it, what are those called? Punnett squares in biology. Hmm. Um, all right. So, what does it say? Adars to Thaminu, the eighth lesson. The top, um, look at the top uh, row, okay? W what are the two words there? Al-Mufradu and Al-Jam'u. What's Al-Mufrad? Separate. Single. Separate. And then Al-Jam'u is? Plural. 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 So basically this, this chart is to show you the single and the plural. This is all past tense. We've already done this. So they're conjugating Zahaba for um, the following um, single and plural, okay? Um, look at the, look at the first column on the right. It has it has a sideways text. Yes. There's three right that there's three right there. It says al ghaib al mukhatab and al mutakallam. Does everybody see that? I don't have it. Yeah. You don't have it. Yeah, right here. Matthew, your yours might. Yeah. Wait, is this lesson eight? Yeah. It should be in the beginning. Oh, this is lesson nine. There's some books. Yeah, right. Hey, you, you got a good deal. Uh, it's okay. Please say hello, please. Hello, please. Yeah. Does everybody see al-ghaib, al-mukhatab, and al-mutakallim? Okay. So this is third person, second person, <coughs> and first person. Al-ghaib is third person. Literally, it means absent. Al-ghaib. Does it have that word? Al-ghaib. Or it's an old dish. Okay. Ghaib means third person absent. So, so we're talking about huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, and hunna, right? All of these are talking about a person. He, two of them, three of them. They're, they're not present, they're ghaib. Al-mukhatab is the second person. Okay? Mukhatab is the second person. Anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, and? Antunna. So all of those are second person. And then al mutakallim is first person. So what are those two pronouns? Ana and Ahnu. Ana and Ahnu. Right? First person, Ana and Ahnu, I and we. Okay? So there, um, the only, so this chart is actually missing the duo. Because it, you see it has Mufrat and it has Jamr. But it doesn't have um, al Muthanna, it doesn't have the dual. So they haven't taught the dual, but we've already learned it, right? So what's um, the first one? Hamidun Dahaba. Right? This is for which pronoun? Dahaba. Hua. This is for Hua, right? Yeah. And then if you look so. in the chart, it says Al Mufrad, it will be under Al Mufrad, which means it's singular. And it's under Muzakkar. Uh, what's Al Muzakkar? Masculine. Masculine and Al Muannath. Feminine. So it's Mufrad, Muzakkar, Ghaib, which is Huwa. Okay? These terms are just, I'm just saying them so that you know them, um, but it's not like you have, I mean, just keep them in mind, just write them as notes, okay? Alright, the one to the left of that. Hamidun, wa Hashimun, wa Aliyun, Dahabu. They all went. So this is for what pronoun? Hum. 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 Okay? Next one. Aminatu. Zahabat. Yeah. This is for? Hiya. Hiya. No? Yeah. Just for Hiya. Yeah. 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 The Jamara is Amina wa Zainab wa Maryam. The? Habna. So this is for Humna. Um, Alright, the next one. Anta. The Habda. The Habda. Right? You went. Antum. The have tum. What's the middle one that we're missing? Antuma? Antuma. 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 Right? It's not in there, but we're, I'm just I'm checking. Antuma. The have tuma. 
ذهبتنا عندي ذهب دي أنتنا ذهب تنا عند وان إنه منو أنتما ذهبتما ذهبتما alright alright last two no, no, no. Um, <laughs> exercise uh, one and two. Okay. One and two. Okay. So basically, they're just filling the blanks. So just conjugate the verbs. Okay.